What's up guys, Matt Prince from Royal Fitness. So we're going into the kettlebell snatch today. The snatch is one of my favorite lifts, especially the quick lifts, I love it. I love how it transfers weight through that foot all the way to this hand as I snatch it up and it connects everything in the body. It's a real good bridge of the gap with, if you've got traditional strength training and you're trying to get more explosive, more athletic, Snatches are a really, really good way to start to bridge that gap and start to create that athleticism that you want. So when you're gonna get a kettlebell snatch, I assume that you've done clean and presses. That's one of the sort of buy-ins for it. You wanna learn where the rack position is. You wanna learn how to hold it overhead stable because we're gonna be dynamically getting it from the hip overhead. Now, if you have done that and you've passed that, that test, you're gonna grab the kettlebell in the corner here, okay? So this is gonna allow you to push your hand all the way through as we snatch it up. I like to grab it in that corner, okay? If you grab it too far here, it's gonna be hard to keep your wrist straight as you go overhead, okay? So when you grab it here, this is step one. Now, step two, you're gonna lock your core in nice and tight, tense everything strong, and we're gonna do a dynamic movement where I'm gonna lean back a little bit, I'm gonna pull the bell into my hips, and I'm gonna snatch it overhead. As I catch it overhead, you can see I've got a straight wrist, full lockout and I've pressed it through. As I start to do a few reps, there's two ways you can come down. You can come down to your chest, punch it out, snatch it back up. If you're choosing that rack position and then punching out, that is absolutely fine. I recommend that for more beginner people. Now, if you are more advanced, you want to do more reps faster, what you can do is throw it down from overhead. So as I go here, I'm going to lead with my pinky finger, right? I'm going to throw that out that way, and it wraps through. And you can see, as I throw it from over top, Lead with that finger, it wraps down, comes in, I snatch it back up. The further you throw it, so if you're throwing it from overhead, it's gonna create what's called an overspeed eccentric. It's gonna really force your body to brace hard as you're coming down, otherwise the bell's gonna take you and throw you into the floor, okay? Because that's what weight does. Now, you gotta find the, the position where you should, where's you know, safe for you. If that's coming rack and pushing out, that's fine. One of the things I think um, is one of the most important things with snatches that I've learned through trial and error is I used to always try and snatch heavier. Heavier was better in my opinion. And it got to the point where I was getting wrist issues and shoulder issues, it just didn't feel that good. As I got some really good advice of a guy on Instagram actually, his name's Iron Fix, Seamus, he's a mate of mine. He helped me with it and he said, keep your snatches fast and keep your swings heavy, right? When I got that concept through my head, it allowed me to go more on speed and quality for my snatches, which allowed me to create more strength endurance, power endurance, and all the stuff that goes with that, rather than just jacking my body up, trying for like a three or five rep max. Okay, it is good to snatch heavier and heavier bells, but if it's not fast and it's not clean technique, you're not gonna get much out of it. You're better off to take that heavy work and put it into your swings, put it into your deadlifts, put it into you know, jumps and throws and, and you know, strongman work or whatever, and keep the, keep the snatch fast, keep it explosive, and you can do it for reps, you can keep that power endurance happening. Anyway, great lift, have a play with it. Make sure your technique's solid, keep it always fast, that's the focus, and, uh, and see how you go. Talk to you soon.